Tonight, a judge has ruled the plastic surgeon accused of killing a Largo attorney must remain in jail until his trial is over. Tomas Kosowski is facing a first-degree murder charge in connection with missing Largo attorney Stephen Kazi. News Channel 8's Brittany Muller joins us now live from the courthouse in Clearwater with more. Brittany. Jen, good evening. Stephen Kazi's husband says he's absolutely terrified. And after hours of witness testimony here at the Pinellas County Courthouse today, a judge has denied bond for former plastic surgeon Tomas Kazowski. Stephen Causey and Michael Montgomery married in 2020. For the last year, there was a theme in their conversations. This case with, the, I didn't know the guy's name, but the term he used was the crazy doctor. On March 21st, Jake Blanchard, Causey's supervisor and friend, was panicked. There's like blood in the bathroom, but I, have no, but I can't find him. He called 911 to report Causey missing. His these photos from inside the bathroom at Blanchard Law. This is where police believe plastic surgeon Tomas Kozowski killed Kazi. The same place where the two allegedly got into a verbal dispute in January. Kozowski called him a scumbag like his clients um, in the bathroom. Montgomery had growing concerns saying this was a direct threat. I wanted him and Jake Blanchard to get some kind of on-site security for the next time they meet with this doctor um, because I just had a bad feeling that this was escalating. Past Blanchard says Kozowski had a conflict with Kazi over a contentious medical billing lawsuit. The two had a hearing that day in March. Kazi never attended. I am convinced that if he's let out, he, he's going to come after me, and I don't want to end up in a landfill. Court documents reveal Kazi's body may have been dumped in a Collier County landfill, but his body has not been found. This is Kazowski faces a first degree murder charge and the judge ruling he will remain in jail until his trial. I think he is a flight risk when you uh, look at what was found. Court documents allege authorities discovered over $280,000 in cash, masks, guns, and a paralyzing drug, along with his Polish and U.S. passport inside Kazowski's pickup truck. Kazowski has pleaded not guilty to that first degree charge, and he will remain behind bars without bond at the Pinellas County Jail. He's expected back in court on Monday. Jen? And Brittany, I understand the state is now seeking the death penalty in this case. Jen, that is right. In a notice from the state attorney, it says that the capital felony was a homicide that was committed in a cold, calculated, and premeditated manner that they intend to prove. Brittany Muller reporting live in Clearwater for us tonight. Thank you, Brittany.